Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. I just realized that the mail is not coming today, but Tina is, and we have a lot to ship out. Saturday was my best day of the month. I did $579 in sales. Sorry, I don't know. I was just looking at the floor. I'm still a little groggy. It always makes me happy when I sell a coat and it makes me very happy when I sell two coats. One coat sold in a bundle and it was the vintage New Kids on the Block, the Right Stuff Tour from 1989 that sold. And I had that priced at $175. I paid 20 in New York City for that and it might be upstairs um but my buyer put it in a bundle with two pairs of shoes and took the automatic 15 percent, which was incredible so that was a 260 dollars sale one of the shoes she bought were these cool hans i just caught a glimpse of them so i'm going to grab them aren't they so nice i had these listed at 55 dollars the jacket at 175 and then a pair of sandals that I have had since 2021 that sold and they were listed for $79 and they're very nice they're like new they are espadrilles and where are they I'm going to come back to that sale because I think I have to do some digging but this coat also sold this is from the recent buyout I did the estate sale buyout with all of the Talbot's clothing this beautiful L.L. Bean trench coat was in there the lighting is making it look gray but it is in beautiful condition the liner is this the right one yes look at this liner so nice this flannel plaid um, I had this listed for 99 and I sent out offers for 30% off with discounted shipping and my buyer accepted so it sold for $69 I paid $100 for seven trash bags full of clothes. Um, and I've already sold a few items from that. So that has um, now turned a profit and then some, but let's keep hunting for stuff. My next sale was from the other estate sale. This beautiful Franco Sardo leather woven vintage bag. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. It's really beautiful. This had so many likes on it. And I sent out offers um, probably right about where it sold, which was $39. Isn't this fantastic up close? This woven leather and then there's a braided crossbody. Um, this sold for $39 on an offer, so no discounted shipping. Really, really beautiful. Whoever's going to get this is going to love it. love how it kind of like puffs out at the corners. It's really nice. It's like camera style. Gorgeous. This next dress has been with me for way too long. From pre-2020, it was not in Vendu. I believe it was a 2019 purchase. It's new with tag, band of gypsies. Oh, this was one of those embarrassing ones where I had sent out offers to the same people several times through the years. And I finally sent out an offer for $14 with discounted shipping. And I did a little dance when my buyer accepted. Hold on, I gotta find it. Here it is, new tag. It has a cute little, um, kind of a sweetheart collar. Nice little pattern. It's like a fit and flare. Out the door. Next up was a bundle that sold. These were Bombas, new without tag. I had the original sleeve, but they got misplaced. So these were brand new. And I think they were meant to be a three pack, but I priced them individually at $18. I paid $5.99. My buyer bundled them and offered me 30. This was a very quick flip. Those sold in just a couple days. All right, there's a quick story behind this next item. It is an Escada skirt with lemons on it. That's really beautiful. I originally paid $56 for this. The price tag on the skirt was 700 plus, and I bought it at TJ Maxx. I then sent it to the real real probably a year and a half ago and they wanted to price it at like 50 or 60 dollars i'm like are you kidding me so i reclaimed it immediately before it sold and now it's been in my inventory for a year and a half i never thought the skirt would sell and it's so adorable and it sold to the same woman who bundled the new kids on the block jacket so that bundle was 260 
She just took the 15% off on those three items, which I still have to grab. This, I had sent out a pretty steep discount. I had it listed for $149. I sent out offers for $99 with discounted shipping. She must have missed the offer, so she responded with $99 and sent me a $99 offer on this. So my goodness, this skirt is so adorable. It has lemons on it. It's new with tag. And she's going to love it. And I am so happy, so happy that this is finally leaving my house. Next up, just because I'm staring at these, these are the camper suede shoes that I picked up at Goodwill in Jamaica Plain. Uh, a lot of these sales going out today are from that haul. So thank you to anybody who watched and then came over to eBay or Poshmark to shop. I wasn't sure about these because I could not find comps. I have a feeling... They're pretty rare and they're pretty valuable. I listed them for $59. Someone sent me an offer for $45 on eBay. If that offer had been on Poshmark, I probably would have accepted it. But these are super, super heavy. And my buyer was coming from California. So I countered with $55 because I think I only have these listed for $9.99 to ship. And I think they're going to cost more than that to ship to California. So I countered with $55, which was just $4 under asking, but I just listed them. Anyways, she accepted. So I'm pretty pumped about that. She paid right away. So these are heading to California. Quick flip. All right, since we're talking about um, that day in Boston, this also sold. Oh, that sold too. I have to grab that. <laughs> this is a Cat Stevens t-shirt that I got very excited about. It is is probably early 2000s, but it's not vintage. I mean, Cat Stevens is a band from the 70s. So I knew it wasn't a 70s vintage, but I thought this was single stitch and I don't know. I got all excited. It was not vintage. Thank you to everybody who messaged me in the poll. And this was made in America. So there were a couple indicators and I could not find much on this, but I had a couple good friends DM me. Anyway, I listed it for $38 because I loved it. And I received an offer from a viewer. Thank you for $20, which was a little low. I wasn't ready to let this go for 20. I counted at 28 and she accepted. So I'm very happy about that. Another quick flip and someone's going to really love this. Thank you for your purchase. This I picked up not too long ago either and this sold in a bundle. I just happened to catch a glimpse of it when I was pulling that Cat Stevens shirt. This is a Star Wars shirt and I liked this because it had it had like pink in it. I thought it was really fun. It was different for Star Wars t-shirts that I typically see. We can check out the label. I had this listed for $20 and it sold in a bundle for $55 with a free people shirt. So let's grab that too. Okay, I'm so excited because this item which sold came out of this bin, which is overflowing. So we love to free up space in the bins. <laughs> so this is a free people shirt. I wanna say I got this at that warehouse sale a while back. It may, nah, maybe I got it at Savers. Anyways, I have that I paid $8 for this and two or three dollars for this so this was like a 10 or 11 dollar investment and the offer to me was 55 dollars which i accepted all right I think i'm gonna take a coffee break and finish in a little bit what are you fussing about is your nap all over all done you want me to rub your belly <laughs> Hi. Oh, did the little bumpers. Cute boy. Love you. Did you have a nice nap? All right, Tina is here. Hello. Hello. And we tracked down the rest of the bundle. This is the New Kids on the Block jacket. How cool is this? Hanging Tough World Tour, $89.90. And there's the, who's my little squeaker? Are you squeaking and squawking? You're okay, handsome. So we're pumped about that. And these are the espadrilles that were in question. We did find them. Minor heart attack, but not a bad one. Really pretty with all this detail. These have been for a w around for a while. I remember I paid like $13 for these at Savers. I don't know how I remember that. This was an eBay sale. This really cool bag that has the crazy, crazy pom-poms. 
This sold for $45 on eBay. These winter silks were part of that Talbots buyout where the L.L. Bean jacket came from. Those sold for $10. I took a $10 offer on eBay. And I think that might be it. Oh, we got some Lululemon leggings heading out. Priced them at $32. Took a $25 offer. And yeah, and there's no mail pickup. We were all excited to get this stuff out, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Right, T? Yeah, holiday today. <laughs> yep. Tina is a detective and saw that this side looked much shorter than this. So you missed her try on haul. And, <laughs> and the shoes looked really good on her, I gotta say. But this does not, if you look at it from the side, it doesn't go back far enough like this one to actually get on to any human's ankle. Tina has pretty little feet and she just had a pedicure. You do, I thought it looked really cute on you. <laughs> You looked smoking hot in these, Tina. There you go, in my leggings. Unfortunately, this is part of a $260 bundle, of course. Oh. So I need to reach out to my buyer. And the crazy thing is, they're new. They're beautiful, they're resort wear, they're super expensive, and they're new without tag. But I did buy them at Savers, and whoever paid full price for these was probably really mad and then donated them to Savers. But I've had them for a while. But yes, look at these Savvy Resort Wear. So, all right, we got to work on this. So update on this. My buyer could not have been more incredible. I ended up sending the whole package out to her and told her to keep the shoes and asked if she would like to choose something of $100 value. These were listed for $76. She ended up choosing a pair of Bottega Veneta shoes that I had listed for $249. We took $100 off of that price and she bought them for $149. So phew, she was amazing and all ended well. What do you think of our packaging? We folded over these large bags. We put the card here so it wouldn't touch the garment. Little thank you sticker. And they're beautiful. Tina did all of these. We love you, Tina. I love Tiki J. <laughs> She's got to pick her shirt too. Look at these, are the extra larges. These are some orders over here. So we don't, we're not packaging these up yet because we need the cards, but we are in really good shape. We have 16 orders. I had to go pick up the Tiki J cards. So everybody who orders an item from Tiki J, a shirt gets a recipe card. Well, it's actually a postcard with a cocktail recipe that corresponds to the pattern. So this is our midnight run. This is all original artwork. The only thing about this is the Tiki J is in black because the graphic was black. So I need to, we need to work on that. So th I'm sure there are gonna be changes to all of our stuff as we, do this, but it's really cute. I did the pattern on the back as well. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured I would go to Savers. Okay, here we are. I found this beautiful embroidered um, open cardigan in the swimsuit section, and it was priced at just $5.99, so I could not resist this. I think it's so beautiful. I don't know that brand. I love this little section at Savers during the summertime because I love a good cover-up. I think these style tops are so versatile. You can wear them over a bathing suit. You can wear them over a dress or over a tank top with leggings. This one I almost picked up. It was silk, um, but I wasn't sure about um, the stitching on the back. This I liked for myself. It's very soft and stretchy. This brand is not a brand that I would typically pick up to resell, especially at that price, but I do like it for me. So this is gonna have to be a really quick trip because Rocco just ordered pizza and I have to go pick it up for him. Uh, so I don't really need much, but I found some really good stuff in the short time that I was here.
Okay, I have secured Rocco's Pizza, and now I wish we got two because I'm hungry. Hi everybody, welcome back to the haul portion of today's video. If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. I release videos twice a week. Um, I pulled some sales, then I went thrifting at Savers, and now I'm going to show you what I purchased. It's been a couple days since I went shopping at Savers. I have my receipt here. I ended up just getting seven items and I spent $48. I did have a 20% off coupon. It looks like I saved $12. I'm excited to go back to Savers for this 4th of July upcoming holiday weekend because I just got my coupon yesterday that they're doing 30% off, I think, if you spend $75 or more. So I'm excited about that. Before I jump into my haul, I just want to thank today's sponsor. If you watched my last sponsored video by Vendu, I was over the moon excited because they have released some new features. If you're unfamiliar with Vendu, they are a cross-listing service that allow you to post your listings on multiple platforms. They're up to 11 platforms, all the heavy hitters. The platforms that I use the most are Poshmark and eBay. And recently we launched a business, my husband and I launched a clothing apparel business called Tiki J Athletic Wear, and I have all of those listings on Shopify. So that's been a new addition to my Vendu lineup, which I've used in the past, but my website had been down for a while. So Shopify is back up and running. And then my husband opened an Etsy account. Etsy is new to me, but it's one of the platforms that Vendu supports. Now I'm able to upload my Tiki J apparel to those platforms through Vendu. So super exciting. What I was talking about in the last video that I was so thrilled about, I've actually been putting to use, and that's two new features that they offer. One is automatic sales detection. Currently, the automatic sales detection is only offered through Poshmark and eBay. If something sells on Poshmark, it will automatically detect it, notify you in the app, and then delist it from eBay. You still have to go in and do your um, details, like what it's sold for and what your cost of goods are and that sort of stuff, but it will be off the other platform, which is the most important thing for me so that I don't double sell an item. I am just thrilled with this feature. It's in beta right now. The other feature that I have been really enjoying, and this is such a huge time saver, is they have partnered with the app Photo Room. Photo Room automatically removes your background. I get so many DMs with people asking me, how do you get that white image? What are you using for software? It's been Photo Room straight along. You don't have to do any editing to your photos before you put them in Vendu. So my assistant Tina has been loving this feature. You take the photos, you upload them right to Vendu, and boom, you check the boxes and they remove the background. They do have limits on how many photos you can edit. So if you don't wanna reach your limit, too quickly, you can just do your cover photo or select a couple photos to remove the background from. It's such a huge time saver. You will absolutely love these new features. If you wanna give Vendu a try, click the link in my description. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. I think for the first time in my reselling career, I am consistently selling over $1,000 on eBay. I think this month I'm at 1400 and that's down a couple percentages from last month. So I know that I'm making more money because of this service. All right, let's get into the haul from Savers. As I mentioned, I spent $48.18. I got just seven items. This was a quickie. I've been working really hard to start liquidating my items. I really want a new refresh for the fall. I'm gonna hit my five year anniversary on Poshmark this August, and I just think it's time to press the reset button. So I'm starting to send out pretty generous offers, especially on things that have been around for a while or things that I didn't spend a lot of money on. So when I'm outsourcing, I also have to be very careful about what I'm inviting into my home. I definitely had that in mind when I was shopping this day at Savers, so you'll see some of the things that I picked up. I grabbed these Vionix sneakers. They were just $10.49. I shouldn't say just. The prices at Savers have gone up so much that this is pretty reasonable. Plus with 20% off, it brings it under $9. Vionix are a great brand and these are in excellent condition. I love like the peachy coral colored laces and accents. They're a nice neutral color. I just wanna check out the size for you. They are a size US seven and a half. I feel like my lights are pretty bright today. 
really great shape. I'm hoping to get between $40 and $50 for these. I haven't looked at the comps yet. I'll be sure to post um, sold comps on the screen if I find some. I found these at the very end and they were priced high because they were new with tag. Um, but the last time I found new with tag free people cut off shorts in this size, it was either a 31 or a 32. They sold really quickly to a viewer. And then I had a few DMs after they sold people inquiring about them. So with that in mind, I decided to splurge for this. Those I also paid up for. I wanna say they were $12 behind the register somewhere. These We The Free jeans, white jeans, new with tag. They were priced at $15.49. They are this wide leg, really nice denim. But the price tag, just below that price tag, is $128. So what I did with the jean shorts is I think I priced them at 50% off. I'll probably do the same for these. Price them, maybe I'll do them at like $65 or $70. With that in mind, if they sell above $50, that'll be a, an incredible return on these. I don't have anything like this in stock. Wide leg is very much on trend. I was excited about those, hoping to get north of 50. This was another new with tag item that I was pretty pumped about. This is Trina Turk. This was priced at just $7.49. And the retail on this is $249. So let's just look at these two items, both new with tag. We're talking about $375 plus on two items retail. I was just so excited about this. This blouse I think is really pretty. I'm just gonna stand up. So it has this pattern. Is it a floral pot pattern? Or it almost looks like um, polka dots. And then the arms are sheer. So very nice. Um, and then it has like a little button closure in the back here. And then there's also, whoops, it fell. There's also a belt. I love when items come with belts because you can either wear them as a belt. I love when people use belts to accessorize as like a hair headband. Very cute, very bohemian looking. Um, and this is beautiful. So new with tag, um, $749 plus 20% off. And yeah, the price tag on it, $249. I imagine there's some silk in this. Just looking to see if I can find a size. And it's a size extra large. We got a lot going for it here. Larger size, new with tag, a little accessory that goes with it. Amazing. Another item that was new with tag. Uh, this I think I'm keeping for myself. It's just a textured striped dress. This is no fancy brand. This is probably something sold at a little boutique. It's called My Danielle. It's a size large. I would not have paid $11.99 for this if I was going to resell it. This I don't think would be worth it. But I thought this was so cute for the beach. It's super stretchy, really lightweight and loose. Um, I don't like cap sleeves on me. It's probably the worst style for my arms because I have larger arms. So when the cap sleeve comes to just about here, it just makes my arms look bigger than they even are. So if I'm going to wear sleeveless, I'll do a traditional tank top. So I would love to wear this with a pair of like black flip flops and then um, like a little cardigan sweater, something lightweight, really cute. So now we are over $400 retail. Unbelievable. This I thought was just a cool passport clutch. I saw it and I just thought it was pretty. It, it kind of gives me 1980s vibes. It feels a little retro looking. It was $4.99. It has the removable um, wristlet strap. Um, but then when I opened it up, it was Fossil. And I've had pretty good luck selling Fossil. So it says tickets, passport over on this side. I don't know if you'll be able to see the writing on the leather, the embossing. And then this side um, has all the spots for credit card holders, so really cute. Also, I am a planner, as many of you know, and I think this would also work for like a traveler's notebook would slide in here or the Hobonichi Weeks would fit in here. And then you could zip it around and have a little notebook in here. There is a spot for a pen, all things that journalers and planners love. So I thought that this was a really nice multi-purpose piece for somebody who's traveling or somebody who loves to journal. I thought it was a unique piece for $4.99, 20% off, I paid just $4 for this. I love when I come home from a haul and I'm just excited about the stuff that I have and that's how I feel about this. I'm not gonna be overwhelmed 
with the thought of getting them all listed. I feel like my Savers hauls and some of my more curated uh, Goodwill hauls lately have been doing very well and selling quickly. This piece I love. Okay, this is a size 2X. I've never heard of this brand, but the tag is pretty cool. I need to look this up. It says Savannah Jane. Almost reminds me of like, show me your moo moo tag. This is just $5.99 and it is beautiful. If this doesn't scream Johnny Was, I don't know what would. It looks so much like a Johnny Was piece and it was just $5.99. I'm probably gonna price this I don't know, I haven't looked at comps, but this is stunning. So this is how it looks on me. It's definitely a larger size, but I could still probably get away with wearing this, and it's just so beautiful. The embroidery on this is gorgeous. I think this one is worth looking into in the moment. So let's look this up together. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of the brand Savannah Jane. I'm gonna look it up right now. So I see somebody has one on Etsy priced at $79. I'm not surprised by that because it is so beautiful. All right, so I'm on a website. It just looks like it's a boutique brand, but they range in price for just tops and dresses, short dresses from $59 to $79, $89. So I will probably price this around $59 or $60. It's really beautiful. Um, and for the price that I paid, uh, it should be such a great return. So is that all for today? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I'm missing something. The seventh item that I bought was just a pair of stretchy black pants for Angelina for work. So I actually only have six items. These Vionics are called the Agile Jojo Comfortable Leisure Walking Sneaker. They retail for $90. I'm seeing them on Amazon for $90. I found some really high retail value items today. If we do just like a quick rundown of the retail value of what I picked up today for $48. The Free People jeans are $128 retail. The Trina Turk was $249. The dress that I bought myself, which again I probably would not have picked up, was $39. Um, these were $89. So that we're at 505. As far as the fossil passport goes, I'm gonna estimate that that retails for about $59. So just the six items that I'm showing today, not including the item from Angelina, the retail value is $564. So we're talking over 10 times what I paid. If my average selling price is even just $50 between these items, and I'm pretty sure I'll get more for a couple of them. Um, that would be $250 for a $48 investment and not include the pants for Angelina or the dress that I'm keeping for myself. So I hope you enjoyed today's Ship and Shop video. Be sure to click the link in my description if you'd like to try out Vendu and save 25% off your first month of service. Let me know what your best sale was this week or your best thrift find. I'd love to hear in the comments. Thank you guys for your continued support. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Love you and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.